The Redeemer has risen. What's up guys, Marcy Fake Hunter to do another first person video and today I'm going to be illustrating some strategies again that I uh, have come up with since my last first person video which, you know, there have been many, admittedly. Uh, so I probably won't get time to show you all of them. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to show them to you all in one video because then I won't have any, you know, ideas for my future upcoming videos. But nevertheless, I'm going to be versus uh, Monopoly One, who was a pro player back in the day. He was known as Advanced Noob. Uh, he actually uh, got into good positions into in tournaments back in the day. So yeah, he certainly knows his stuff, and he uh, is mostly known in the four v four scene now. Though he does occasionally pop around to play some one v one games. Anyways, I'm going to be GDI. Surprise, <laughs> GDI. Uh, do you, do you guys know what I'm going to do with this game? No, you probably don't actually. You do not know what I'm going to do. I have something in store for you, and that is going to be... It's going to be Shatterers inside of V-35s, guys. Shatterers in V-35s. I'm going to have some flying sonic tanks. That's exactly what we're going to do. And I'm going to use those to harass my opponent's expansion. But only after I rig my, rush my opponent. Unless he's Steel Talons, in which case I probably won't. Because, you know, Steel Talons do have those Titans which shoot over units and buildings, which is not good whatsoever. Anyways, we're going to do the Shadow Harass. That is exactly what we're going to do here. I need to scout him because, you know, there is a number of things that can uh, catch me by surprise here. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm ready to drop this here. This, um... Yep, let's get out of the range here. Where's his rifle squad? He's over there. He's probably going to try and see if I've got this garrison garrison, which I indeed I do. Um, do I mind him getting to my base? Not necessarily. I've got two harvesters. Perk of GDI is I do get those chain guns on the harvesters, so I am going to be able to kill those quite easily. And we've got some eco there for Monopoly 1. He's just going to expand, I think. I mean, I see two harvesters there. He's got... Is that an APC? Was that an APC, guys? I just saw, like, one split frame of that. I do suspect that that is going to be an APC, so uh, let's make an a a a pit bull here just to scout that. You may uh, try and take my spike over, which is, I'm going to try and stop that, you know. So, yeah, uh, he, I mean, he was not going to be able to take my spike over anyways, because I've got a unit inside of that garrison, so he's not going to be able to scout me. Uh, but yeah, I do suspect he's got something. I'm going to scout, however, see what he's up to. I'm a bit delayed on that expand because I uh, was a bit fearful of an engineer just then. And uh, he may be going to the blue type room. Uh, one thing I've done in the past is, uh, or recently, is if I see my opponent go for the blue type room, I just send my, or I deploy my Bloodhound's ability there. So yeah, I'm going to go for that rig rush and my freaking microphone boom arm is in the way. I am going to try and get these videos out to you guys as quick as possible. I do have only three chances to post videos a week, which is why you may see me, uh, you know, skip the, or sometimes not post a video. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to be forced to scan here. I'm going to go for this rig anyway, see what he's going to do. Is he going to go He's going to go for double war factory. Okay. He's going to go for that double war factory. Well, I'm going to go for the rig with two war factories of my own. I have adapted to this. And I'm going to deploy this here. I could just power this down as well. It's not a good de deployment on that, to be honest. Uh, he's going to go into my base. Uh, hmm, do I need this anymore? No, I don't. Let's sell this tier 2 off. Don't need that anymore. He's forgot his harvester anyway. And where's he going? He's gonna come up here with my with his pit balls. And he's gonna he's not even ordering his harvester. So yeah, he's gonna lose that, I think. Okay, and he's gonna lose that straight away, that harvester. That's unfortunate for him. Got double war factory on the way. I'm not sure where his pit balls are. He's got the pit balls here. Oh, fuck. Pitbulls. I'm going to come in here though with my rig and forces. He's going to have to deal with me here the best he can. Okay. Oh shit. I need to deploy this. Not the best deployment ever on the rig. Actually, the worst. I'm not sure how I deployed in that weird angle. Okay. And micro is of essence here. Okay, kill this. The got some people here coming into action. I can take out his people's on the retreat. I'll try to. 
So we've got these pit bulls still around. Uh, the APCs are going to use to kill his his thing. And uh, yeah, I need to go for orcas now as well. Probably a good idea since he's just wasted all of his pit bulls. So going for those orcas is going to be a really good thing. Okay. Oh, veteran APC. You may want to keep that alive. That's going to be very useful. Fuck, what was that? Oh, I used to cut my power plant in the back of my base. That's unfortunate. Uh, hmm, maybe just worth getting that to base because it is veteran. So it's going to be very, very helpful for me, to me in the future. And let's get that back uh, to base for, for some repairs. Okay, let's see if he's taking some Tyrone up here as well. I need to take this blue tip myself, so I'll do that. Actually, we're already on it. And this APC may go heroic. I mean, it is a better an APC, so very, very uh, good if I can keep that alive because it might go potentially to heroic. I'm going to take this blue tie room up here. He's not taking it at all. Okay, and I do feel that's enough people for my liking. I mean, if he goes for um, orcas, I already have the response, the quick response to that. Okay. This APC is going to go probably heroic by killing those, which is going to be very nice indeed. Anyway, Orca's here. My aim could be a lot better with my mouse. I'm not aiming very well lately. Go for more pit bulls. Uh, is there some forces here that I can destroy? No, not quite. Got these Orcas. I'm trying to get into the back. Maybe I could lure his pit bulls over here while I go for the, the harvesters. So, oh, he's seen them actually. So never mind about that. Okay, uh, those took quite a bit of damage. Right, keep going up here. And it is a <laughs> very micro intense build this. I'm, I should take more of that blue tire up there as well. So I'm going to expand with the crane. There's something that I also wanted to experiment with. Just go for more crane builds. He's going to go for tier 3. Okay, oh, my orcas under deck could be compromised if I. If I'm not careful, he's got those. He's going for hammerheads now, which is interesting. Okay, I mean, I could just. I mean, I'm going for tier three, so I'm going to get that tungsten online, and then his hammerheads going to be pretty useless then. So I'm going to call these in here. And oh shit! So go for that uh, tungsten shell as well as a mild facility. Oh my god. I'm not, I didn't see this. I mean, you could just go in, you know, chase that down, that harvester. Uh, where are these? They're over here. Oh, he's going to find me over here then. Okay. Right. Oh shit. He's getting a lot of damage dealt with those uh, pit bulls, man. Okay. Come over here. I need to try and rescue my things. Okay, I'm going to try and get into his base again. You've seen that well in advance. I'm surprised he went for aircraft. Let's see if he's taking his harvest, any harvesters up there. Uh, I'm going to have that tungsten on the line soon. I've got a heroic APC. <laughs> Something I didn't notice earlier. Okay, uh, probably sell this off. Go for some juggernauts too. The only thing I'm really vulnerable to now is juggernauts myself. Okay. Yeah, he's going to cause some damage here. I can just rebuild those harvesters, though. Up, oh, shoot, 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 shoot that. Man, those shats. Super powerful. Uh, is he going to go for infantry or what? I mean, if he's going infantry, I can just go for the sniper teams, which is I did versus Green Zero once. Okay. 
So yeah, just pretty much juggernauts at this point. And maybe maybe a sniper team as well, so I can get in the back of his base and do bombardment on his base. And uh, people's up here. I could probably get the upgrade for those, which is the mod upgrade, and do some harass as well with those. Nevertheless, I'm just gonna sit back with my Marv. Okay, and I'm trying to figure out where his hammerheads are. Okay, uh, he's not there. He's going juggernauts. Might be able to snipe one of those, actually, if I'm lucky. How many halves I've got? I've got a lot of them, but they're all down in the bottom of the field. So I may want to just transfer some more up here, actually. Come to think of it. Okay. There's a lot good to control, actually, when you play GDI. You might be taking Blue Tiberium over here. I'm, I've got this... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Cued uh, AA defense, just in case he sneaks up to me with some hammerheads. But yeah, I've got these slingshots here. Where's that war factory? Let's get that back to some repair. Come over here. All right, he's got a tier four as well. So yeah, this is this can this can be a problem. Okay. Well, this Shatterer may, be also, may also be able to do something. Okay. I was anticipating I'd lose an Engineer, uh, a Juggernaut here. This is going to just be a huge meat shield, this here. Uh, shit, I just emp my own APC. That heroic APC does die, unfortunately. Man, I do feel a little rusty. I mean, he's losing the bigger fight, so it's not a big deal if I lose this here. Uh, yeah, again, if I lose my harvesters, it's not a big deal. I've got none there anyway. Um, yeah. I am, in, I am a bit fearful of the orcas. that back yep zone troopers especially good in that situation as well slingshots in the range um, again I'm just not aiming my opponent's forces down as quick as I'd like to it's gonna aim that down and let's get a GG so a, a bit harder than what it needed to be there I think my opening and early game is good. I just feel that my transitions later on in the game are just not as good. They could be improved. But I'm still trying to refine these builds, guys, and ideas. And I'm just trying to throw them all together in one game to show you and, you know, to, to highlight them. But, yeah, he's seen that uh, V35 Shatter strategy, which I was thinking of, uh, come way too early. I mean, it, you need to distract your opponent for that to be especially effective. I was, however, ahead in eco for the la vast majority of that game. And I did able to get... Um, I was able to counter his two war factories as well pretty efficiently. All right, guys, game number two, which brings us on to Tournament Odyssey. And I'm going to try to get some games versus Green Zero Drive and others. I did uh, organize some games for Green Zero this weekend, though I do have visitors, I just remembered, on the weekend. So the thing about Green Zero is you, you don't, he doesn't ask you what time is convenient for you. He just says, leave. Five o'clock, Saturday. It's not even a question. It's just, he just fucking says it. And what if I refuse? Well, that's technically dodging, right? I mean, if, if I'm not available on Saturday at X, amount, at X hour, then of course I must be dodging. There's just no explanation for it. He should actually just ask me what time is, you know, fine for me, not just him. But I'm down to play him, as you know. I really want to play him, especially after that semi-final. And uh, I was... I do get some good games versus him, as you've seen in that uh, last game on my last first one video. I had a game where I used mutants versus Green Zero to great effect. He didn't expect that, and he fell victim to it, man. Like he was trying 59. Admittedly, it is probably worse being Traveler. Oh, no, I can't kill those. I cannot kill those. It's just impossible. Can I dig a foxhole here, and then maybe I can? Or can he dig this foxhole? Oh. 
That's not good. The range on those is pretty good as well. Uh, yeah, this is a problem for me because he's going to anti-scout me here. And I'm a bit fearful for rush. And I feel that he may do a rush on me. So I'm just going to make some pit balls in anticipation of that. I just feel that that's going to be the case. He's, he pulled them back to base. So he was in no rush to rush to scout me. So if, you, if you're not scouting, you're probably rushing. So I reckon that's what he's going to be doing here. So I'm going to mass a couple of pit balls. And see if my suspicions are correct. Or he's just doing some epic mind game. But yeah, this guy, he knows how to play. And what do you know? There is some bikes. I'm not going to overspend, though, on my units here. Okay, and I could just kill that Awaken real quick as well. You could empt that as well. Uh, though... Yeah, I do have the two pit bulls here, which is pretty good. Got four harvesters. Uh, could have gone for the fifth one before I went for the tier two. It doesn't matter, though. I'm ahead, or I should be. Though he did force me to spend a lot of forces. Uh, yeah. So where's the APC? I'm just going to put this in here so I can, you know, kill these Awaken here, which are annoying. The uh, rifles got in the APC will allow me to shoot those down while this is uh, moving. Okay. Alright. And we go for that strategy now. The double war factory. Got five harvesters, so yeah, the rig would be a good idea. Let's see what he's got here. He's going for double war factory himself. Of course he is. He's got a scorpion tank out on the field. I'm not sure if he's going to go for Double War Factory to follow up. Scorpion Tanks, if he is, I can just go for Air. Air would be a good switch for me. So I'm just going to do that now. I think he is doing Air though. I've got this one people here just to split off and scout him. No, didn't get the deploy off. See what he's up to here. He's not got his ref down yet. He can go for that expansion, maybe. Anyway, here I come up here. Let's see what he's going to be doing. I'm just going to use these orcas to kill his scorpion tanks here. Some of them are in the reds. I could sell this off as well. Go for the eco. I think he's going to go eco himself now. Okay. And the rig is coming into action. I'm going to get some damage dealt with this now. Oh no, he's going to kill me. My airfield. It's not the end of the world though. I do have another uh, command post to get things down. Okay, what's he got here? Some laser turrets. Which is mildly annoying. DPS this down here, go for the Bloodhounds for reinforcements. Got some units here that are not really refining, and I can adapt to any situation really I find myself in. Of course, I am versus Mox, so it's kind of unfortunate how you can just empt my stuff here. Okay. Alright, well, here goes nothing. The, those are taking flak, those orcas, but while the hammerhead kills his stuff, I'm not really concerned. I'm just going to thin out these infantry. Man, that does a lot of damage. Those laser turrets. Okay. You may have bikes for a counter push. 
Ah, this could get repaired as well. These, uh, of course, get repaired near the rig. Probably wiser to go away from the AA defense. And one on my head, I typically go for like double or triple war factory. Just focus down this hub. Hubs are relatively weak. I'm gonna go for an expansion as well. Uh, probably best to just do this while I expand. Or I could potentially even go for a crane and then build my refinery as I expand. But yeah, he's trying to get his... Yeah, he's trying to hold this back, but uh, it's not really working out. I don't think he's going to be able to kill the rig this game. Did I lose all my orcas? Yeah, I did, unfortunately. I could keep my airfield around, though. Okay. I'm going to get funds for this. Of course, if you know that saving your rigs futile you can always save it off for those funds as well because it is like a building when it's deployed so you can set it just as any other building anyway we could do as i did last game go for those shadow tanks for further harassment i kept this airfield around so i can use the call for transport on him and uh, i'm not i'm keep keeping an eye on my expansion just in case he comes in with a few bikes and kills me but yeah oh shit Unnecessary losses. Those laser turrets, I mean, if we hadn't have buffed them, it would have been an even worse situation for not to be in. Okay, I'm gonna have those shadow tanks online soon. Maybe even a rig here on the front line would be good as well, just for some repairs, frontline repairs, so you don't have to pull an MCV there. Okay. So here goes nothing. Just gonna keep some pit bulls right here. And I think he's kept his AA defenses around. Yeah, he has. Uh, hmm. What do I do versus? I think pit bulls is the right idea still. I swear I have more than that though when it comes to shatter tanks. Yeah, I definitely do. Okay. Um, yeah, he's just going to camp. I'm just going to chill. I don't want to be wasteful. It's easy to be wasteful as GDI. Okay. And just so keep spamming out those pit bulls. I'm going to be green zero pretty much. This is green zero's trademark strategy. He's going to catch himself a lucky snipe there. I don't think he even seen this though. So. Yep. Yeah could be pretty good this unfortunately my radar scan is a little delayed though we'll have a be able to destroy this uh, tier 3 right here where's his uh, forces he's in the middle of the map trying to destroy my army and he can't fence it of course if you don't um, notice your opponents your buildings under siege you can just fence that though And that was reasonably effective, I guess, because I did kill his tier 3. So you count this here. He can only really go for bikes. I'm just going to sit here because, you know, if I don't want to go into range of those um, laser turrets, which he has. Okay, uh, I think he's over here, though. Where is he with his army? I uh, can't really see him anywhere. I'm going to get my tier 3 online, though, soon. Actually, he's over here. Uh, let's get the mortar upgrade. Go for uh, maybe a tier 4 as well. And I think this is going to be all that ne is necessary to finish him off. I mean, he's going to need more than laser turrets, I think, at this point. With all these uh, I have here. I could probably just raise some of the power plants that he has as well. And I must have got that rig sniped in the middle of the map. Uh, unfortunate. I've got this expansion post here as well, which I can just place a rift down there. Oh, fuck. Just remember that I don't have a second rift on my first expansion on the right side, so that was a mistake. But yeah, nevertheless, that again highlights the effectiveness of, well, the shadow tanks when I uh, pick them up and 
sent him to my opponent's expansion. Uh, admittedly, when he had the bikes there, it didn't do very much, but you can uh, kill bikes rather effectively if your opponent's not looking. Like, it can be a thing. So I was trying to distract him in multiple sites. And it's quick. Um, you can destroy your opponent's uh, tech center quickly with four shower tanks. You can drop the opponent's tier three down to less than half health in no time. And then when that happens, he can't use defense. So he won't be able to then save it or double its armor. So uh, yeah, you have to be really on the ball as a nod versus that. And it's not something you'd expect either because uh, who does that, man? Pick up showers? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, this will be game number three. And we're going to be once again versus Monopoly, man. It was like two hours since I last played, so... Excuse me if my gameplay took a, you know, is uh, less good than before. Nevertheless, these are going to be games nonetheless. I know I'm not versus probably the best player in the world here, but I'm not really going to get the chance to play versus Senna or someone like Green Sir until the weekend. I just want to put something out for you guys on the weekend because I can only post three times a week, which is really annoying me. Not only that, it's not that I... I'm poor and I can't afford good internet. It's just that there is no good internet here. The, the infrastructure is just simply not here. So how do I post my videos? Well, I've got a big ass SD card and I just load my video onto that and post it in town. <laughs> There's no way I can do it. So yeah, I'm doing this on Thursday, this video. And the, I actually wanted to play some games anyways. Uh, Anyways, I'm going to be GDI once again, versus random, I think, I didn't even bother to check that, it could be random. I'm going to put my war factory at the front line, because guess what, we got a rig coming, and we got some descents coming as well, those look like fast leg descents, so get ready for some epic disintegrators upgraded with speed, he hasn't got the speed upgrade, which is interesting. Maybe he forgot about that, but yeah, he's going to be surprised to find that I'm already prepared for this. He is Trout of t he does have the slower disintegrators. I'm going to kill this, and then I'm going to get into this bunker here. And then he's going to have to DPS down the bunker, and he's not going to be able to do that, because I'm going to have the APC here in range 2. And he's not going to be able to go around that either. And that is going to be it. And this is going to get ranked up, so... Those did nothing. Uh, of course, the if you're going to rush the synths, you might as well do it with the advanced ticket upgrade. But even then, if you scout it, you're not going to really lose anything. He did force the APC out of me. He could have got the spike, admittedly. If he was maybe Scrint. Did I, even, did I bookmark that there? Yeah, it looks like I did. There was some guy who asked me where the strange sound effects coming from. And let me just check my option setting here, just to show you guys that what my audio is, if you're wondering. Ambient's never been on. I think I turned it on though recently. Things like birds. Now I'm not sure if ambient noise affects the gameplay. Anyway, anyway, he doesn't have fast legs, which is quite useful intel for me, because knowing that my opponent has fast legs is gonna make me confident to go for this blue field here. He's not gonna be able to kill my harvester. Not that he would be able to get some distance out anyways, because I do have this. I'm going to take this uh, blue Tybin right here, and I'm going to go for not the airfield this time, but rather two, uh, yeah, let's go for the airfield. This time we'll go for that airfield. It's going to kill this, which is unfortunate. Oh well, whatever. And I'm a bit all over the place here. So I'm good, I'm going to do this. And then I'm... Uh, hang on, let, 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 let's just save up for the Bloodhounds first. We need that Bloodhounds ability. Also, regarding upgrading APMO, when that's probably not necessary either. Something else I want to do is go for the... The crane up... Uh, the crane, because I'm going to take my opponent's spike over. With the engineer that I get from the assault off MCV. Ah! That's annoying. It is annoying. Anyway, I'm going to dump this here. I'm going to get this up. And then this is going to go to his spike here. Where's that rig? It's over here. I can kill those gunwalkers that are in the red HP. Might be able to kill them. He's on tier 3. 
Well, if you see a tier 3, you just go for... Just go back and recover. Got these shadow attacks here. Uh, this here as well. I do have my build, so... Despite all that's going on right now, I am going to be fine versus him. I'm going to put these here. And I've got the two spike advantage versus my opponent. I've got a lot of everything. I can go for double airfield now. Uh, versus Skren, what I like to do is I, go, I like to go for mass uh, for air, airfields. And I've got these mobile shatterers, which is just super fast. And I'm going to be able to kill those pretty quickly. Oh no, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I'm going to go for hammerheads. Just dump these here. And here comes my... This might even force the phase out of him as well. Uh, let's get that there. More orcas. I'm going to kill a harvester, which is pretty damn good. Oh shit. I did not see this. I have a bit complacent here. I didn't notice he was attacking my expansion. Completely didn't notice that. Man. Oh my god, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. I did not notice that. Completely did not notice it. It just completely rolled into my base. That is unfortunate for me. Oh shit, I got no money now. And uh, that is unfortunate. Get back to base. This could be enough to help him win the game. Um, yeah, that was pretty damaging. Just one... My god, he got himself so back into this game with that. Did he even get the upgrade in the end? No, I didn't. I've got five harvesters. That could have been a lot worse. Man. That was completely unnecessary for me to lose that. Did not see it completely. Uh, scouting could be a lot better, admittedly. I guess that's what happens when you don't have a radar. You get a bit uh, wary of what's going on. He's probably got eco on his field now. Or you put him ahead enough. Okay, he's got AA, plenty of it as well. Okay. Uh-huh. I've got APL now, haven't I? Yes, I have, which is great. Has he got anything in that corner? Let's go check. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, man, he's got AA all over the place, as well as plenty of anti-infantry. Have you taken my other building? Oh, he's taken that one. He's got both of my spikes. Seriously? Man, that's unfortunate. He's going to kill my airfield, which is bad too. He's got bloodhounds as well. Uh, he's not going to kill my airfield though, which is good. Uh, I want to take those. I want to try and remove that two spike advantages that he has. He's still spamming out those seekers, which I didn't expect at all. My micro could be better here as well. Okay. Could be probably a bit too damaging if he just stays around there. Alright. Uh, still not. I'm not dead. Could be worse. Take this uh, spike over as well as this one. And he's probably got tripods now. I'm going to go in with the orcas. Those will be pretty good versus the tripods. Okay, and I'm a long way from tier 3, which is unfortunate. Let's see what he's got here. He's probably got tripods. He's still got mass seekers. Still continue to spam out those seeker tanks. Again, if I didn't, if I saw those. Those, um. 
what do you call it, seekers, I wouldn't have got myself into this position. Just got a bit complacent, I feel, there. I mean, if I DPS down the gun wall, because you won't have anything versus my shadow tanks, ultimately. Okay, take out that. Okay, he's struggling quite a bit to deal with that, which is shocking to me, actually. Oh, shit. Right, we'll get those here. Did I lose that? Yeah, I did. Fortunate. He's not going to achieve anything there. Get that back. Take the spike over. Looks like I forgot to take that one. Also, I want to get a M grenades as well to deal with his hex box. He's probably just going to M lane me. Uh, this guy is 4v4 player, so he probably has quite a lot of experience in, you know, doing things like hex lane and whatnot. Okay. So we get back here. Could go for those sniper teams too. Maybe I could take this blue tiber in while I'm at it. Right, here goes nothing. Uh, maybe a commando two for his hexapod i mean to, to kill the tripods that he has that would be pretty good uh, yeah this is a bit delayed this yeah he's gonna empt that to take this over i've got the commando to keep these going these here and I'm just gonna use these sniper teams to maybe kill this uh, here Fuck me um, commando maybe to get around the back with the commando and kill some of the structures That's going to really be annoying for him to deal with. Okay. Um, I, I can put this in here. Did I lose that? Yeah, I did. Well, he's got an AA there. That's unfortunate for me. Going to make another one. He's not going to expect these random commandos around the back. Got these grenade squads. There's one here which I can use real quick. I can even get into his base and use the bombardment ability on him. Okay. Got that commando kill, which is an ass indeed. I can probably kill all these these check structures that he has here. Okay, and these are the tools I'm going to use versus Trial 59 to do with him. Just de tech him down. What would he go into my base with, though, with his wormhole? It's like a cheeky strategy that he's got planned here. Yep. Didn't expect this. Where's that sniper team? Let's get into the base here. Man, I got no income. Literally none at all. Oh god, can you just please kill that? I cannot kill it.
Man, that was devastating, that attack. And of course, because I got that command in his base, he's not going to be able to... I have a Juggernaut so back at base, but I held that off. It could have been a lot worse if he had got that... Uh, if I didn't get that tech structure earlier. No more Pax for him. I guess Pax was the only thing he was going to build there. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Surprising got some anti-imagery there. Let's take out this tech structure here. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Get back. He's gonna go back. He's gonna go and attack my commando. Have I got my armory still? I can build that again to repair it. Take out his warp chasm and this here. This commando is still on his base. I can use that to long range bombard with the commando in the back. You get that snipe on the prodigy. I was able to pull that one back with some uh, neat GDI moves and if I hadn't have got that perfect synergy with the Juggernauts and Bombardment and uh, killing his prodigy with the sniper teams then that would have been GG for me. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't see those freaking Seekers man, they just came out of my Fog of War and that made for an interesting game. When otherwise I would have probably got so ahead. And I did sell my MCV so I guess when you sell your MCV you don't have your radar and that can be very disorienting because you don't see units on the minimap which is probably a thing as you saw there anyways all right guys last game you would have thought it would have been over but no he went for the fast tier three for the curiously the shard launchers i guess he wanted the tripod out as well because can damage really really kills the rig hard it was a good idea doing what he did and unfortunately for him i was able to pull it back with the Commando, that wormhole was certainly a 4v4 thing. It is good in 1v1 as well, surprised that not many people do it nowadays. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be random versus random once again. And am I recording this? Such a silly question to ask because I've been recording a game already, but sometimes I forget to, and that's very annoying. But He's going to be screened once again. He probably will remember that he's screened this time. He's, he said to me last game that he forgot he was Trailer 59, which makes sense because he made unupgraded disintegrators. Um, the micro is real here for Monopoly. I do you want to scout his war factory though? I want to stop him scouting me too if I can. And you can assign buildings production stance by the way, so every unit that comes out of a, a building will get the stance that you've given it. Yes, sir. Which is quite useful because whole ground stance I found is the least buggy like the units won't go off and do their own thing. <gasps> Guys, I didn't know this. I, I, I did not know what this. Man, I thought I covered all the maps with this on it. I'm, I'm completely missed. Wow, change of plan guys. Change of plan. We have a new plan. What are we versus? Funds. Yes, that's exactly what I want to see. Right. Let's do this. This is... What the fuck? I didn't notice that. That's the first time I've seen it on this map. I swore there was none of that, there was none of that on this map. There's another map with a hovel. Man, I'm doing it. Fuck it. Fuck it, I am doing it. This is not going to be a video about me doing this. Pitbull first. Take that, please. Thank you very much. <gasps> Fuck. No, don't scout me. Don't scout me. Do not scout me. Do not scout me. Yes, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do MRTs. Sorry, APC. Mutants with a rig. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's do this. Shit. He's going to sense. He has just killed my forces. Oh, he's going for that. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate that. Hope you like mutants. 
Look, get, 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 get in there. Can I kill that gunwalker with these mutants? Surely I can. Kill the gunwalker. For the fuck's sake. Clutch save. This is going to be a save, indeed. Right. These here, to his base. I think I might need some... Shatterer tanks, carry-ordered carry to my expansion. That's exactly what I'm going to need here. Okay. He's going to need dip tanks, I think. Shoot, 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 shoot. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. He's, he's, he's going to lose that. Okay. This is doing a lot of damage. Surprisingly going to... This is going to live. It's going to live, man. What the hell? I don't really need the V-35 to carry the, to get these over to my expansions, my opponent's expansion. I don't think it's not really necessary. Um. Oh, that is a problem. Kill those. Can I kill that with the mutants? Nope. Oh, I stopped moving. That was unfortunate. Okay, the uh, game is not won yet. In fact, it's far from won. What's he doing? He wouldn't go Storm Riders. Nope. There was no mutants in that. I'm fine. Okay, uh, probably enough of the mutants now for my liking. I don't know what this is doing, this harvester. These showers are doing some work, it looks like. Right, I'm going for the orcas now. Okay, he's probably got tier 3 now, I'd imagine, which is... I mean, I can go for more mutant a amatis. Do these fill up with mutants? Yeah, they are. Kill that. I think he's got a something over there. I'm not going to hit this. I'm, I'm going to have to force fight the ground. Yep. It's going to happen. Kill that. Oh man, don't don't kill it then. Yeah. A bit of a waste what I done there. Oh fuck, my harvest is not doing anything either. Man, this is a disaster this game. This is a disaster. I'm gonna be forced to sell one of these off. Maybe go for juggernauts actually. Am I losing more? Like is he on expansion down here? No, he doesn't. Not just yet. Um, um, yeah, he's got that hexapod, which is a problem. Maybe if I do what I did last game and get a commander in his base, maybe that'll be good. Doubt it, though. 
Okay, uh, where is his hexapod? He's over there. He's probably gonna go in and attack me. Yeah, I just don't have any funds, man. Like, got harvesters here. They're at idle. Where's his hex? It's over there. I just don't have the. I've got that now. Okay then. Right. Oh, was that was that my commando? No, don't kill that. Oh man, he's just gonna kill my MCB now. I don't have anything versus that. This MCV man it was a bit ambitious. What I did. Okay, uh, this here. Shit, I'm gonna lose my MCV. Yeah, he's just got his hex out now. I can't really deal with that. He's probably got an expansion too. I'm not able to kill his harvesters here. Uh, kill those. Gunwalkers. He's not even attacking me. Okay, he's over here with tripods. Oh, he's got me all over the place. Taking out my power plants, which is unfortunate. Okay, I'm not sure if he's expanded with his MCV over there. Yeah, he's got a base up there. Juggernauts and whatnot, it's probably my best bet. Okay, I've got these juggernauts. I'm gonna have to go all in for an attack. See where his tripods are. They're probably coming out of phase now. It's vital that I take those out. Uh, man, the, the phase lasts forever, doesn't it? It lasts forever. He's, it's not gonna go out of phase. Nope. That's gonna go down. Man, I got no income. What the fuck's my harvesters? Oh yeah, of course I sent them to, to rally them over to the blue Tiberium field. I'm just letting him tear me up. He's not taking out my airfield, which is shocking. I can't we just take that out. He's gonna have infantry, so I'm gonna need something to deal with that. Well, what, 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 what? Pretty sure I got rid of that almost. Yeah, that hexbox can go down. Good for me. He's gonna have no income. I don't think I have. What's that there? He's got those there. He's got dev ships out on the field. I've got blue type room coming in as well. Maybe mutants in those APCs would be good for anti air. Uh, where's the upgrade? AP ammo. Oh man. He's got too many dev ship. Do I need this tier 3 mod? I think I do. I need to take these husks back over there. Take that! Take out the internet! Oh, you got one of my juggernauts over? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Take that out. Take out that AA. I wish I had AP ammo. These would die a lot quicker if I did. I 
which I simply don't though. Take out, the, take over these husks. And uh, yeah, I can take some of this blue Tiberium too. Or there's actually some tip over there. God, man, I wish maybe a rig would be good for some repairs because uh, I do need some repairs on the front line. Oh, he's going to go around and attack my base, isn't he? Of course he is. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to come and attack my base with the Devastator warships. I'm going to kill those, though, with the mutants. Some repairs though for that. Uh, I don't want to sell my backs, that's my build, isn't it? He's got another hex out. Engineer. What can I what can you take? You can take that. I mean, I'm not terribly behind. I can just rebuild an MCV, I think, at this point and make some grenade squads and deal with that hexapod. But I'm actually in an okay position here. I've got also this these four orcas here, which I can use to harass his expansion. Sacrificial mutant. Um, four harvesters, really? That's probably why my economy is suffering a bit here. I just realized that was a huge mistake. I just sold my... I'm just gonna use that to kill the husks. Oh, what the fuck? Oh man. How the hell did I let that happen? How the hell did that happen? Can these go into buildings? Yeah, it looks like they can. Hexapod's over here. Let's take that out. I don't think he's got a commando. May have. But yeah, that was that was a close one. With no radar, it's really hard to deal with this. Oh, he's teleported that back to bit, unless he lost it, which is another likely outcome. Yep. Uh, where's the MCB? It's over here. Finally got radar online. About time. Okay. Got him. I think he sold his tier base defense there as well. Okay. Oh shit. Um, I don't think any grenade squads here, which is a little bit of a problem. Let's get away with an expansion. I've got a juggernaut here, which I totally forgot about. Has he got a base over here? Yes, he has. Let's just go 
kill that. I thought you had shard launchers. Maybe I'm wrong. MCV, where is it? It's on the way to expand. How many hearts I've got? Six, some of them are really damaged. Since he doesn't have any of that, maybe I can get some damage dealt. I do have the things I need to beat him with these grenades in the APCs especially. I can kill that hex squad, just amp it. He won't see these. Okay, enough of that. He's bugging out. No, it doesn't look like it. Just gonna do a Q move here. He's coming in for an attack on my base. I can assign this force here to deal with him. Quite readily. He's not throwing the grenades for some reason. Have I got any emp grenades here? No, I don't. Which is unfortunate. Ah, no. This is going terribly wrong. Surprised he was able to get back into this. Just a testament of how pad I'm playing currently. I'm not dealing with this hex lane lately very well. Don't use my tier 2 again. Oh man, that hexapod. I just can't kill it. You must have a mastermind somewhere. My control is just not on point. Six harvesters. Yeah, okay. I guess it could be better. He's just going to sit back in his base now and just camp again. Yep. No need to move out. I've got the backs here. Um, he's going to be flooding in with money because he's got double ref on his field. He's got no anti-infantry air there, so I can just kill this. Uh, these tripods. Man, seriously, don't tell me I can't kill that. Man, that's pretty pathetic. Let's give me GG. So yeah, Monopoly one does take a game from me. Of course, I'm not always on point, and that game was no exception. Uh, maybe if I had, you know, got some games before, but yeah, I do feel that I was behind that game quite significantly. At that, maybe the mutant MR, a mutant APCs wasn't the right idea versus Monopoly one in that game. But yeah, nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will bring this to you tomorrow but uh, yeah monops does take a game and i did start to fall asleep during the last stages of that game and i probably will be unable to play some more tonight i, I need to go and get some rest so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video uh, i have uh, some strategies planned to do versus green zero and drive on the weekend i assuming i can get some games versus those guys but yeah uh, with all that said hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways this is master leaf peace out